I started at Facebook about two years ago, and my job at the time was very simple. How do we build a more efficient server? We started off with a very simple mission, and the simple mission was create the most efficient compute at the best economics possible. However we can get there, working with whomever we need to work with. Yeah, about 18 months, um, which is the normal length of time that it would take to do like a custom power supply project. Uh, in the industry, but what we ended up doing was not only the custom power supply project, but the um, rack enclosure, the server chassis, the two sets of custom motherboards, um, and setting up all the relationships and the end-to-end -end supply chain um, as well between our Asian partners and Fremont, California, and then ultimately up to Oregon. We looked at a lot of different things uh, when we designed the server. We looked at the electrical design of it, we looked at the power distribution, we looked at the thermal design and we looked at the mechanical design. Things that made sense that we needed, we put on the motherboard. Components that were on the board, which added cost, consumed extra power. However, didn't quite provide us any functionality, we decided to remove. So we talk a lot about what really matters here at Facebook. We talk a lot about done is better than perfect. Uh, you know, I've said the server's a little bit of a hack, and, and we're proud of that. The server itself, I call it vanity free, right? It's not beautiful, but it gets the job done. It doesn't need to be pretty. It doesn't need to be painted. It doesn't need to have plastic bezels that guide airflow around. We made these servers for us, for Facebook, and so we made them look pretty to us. And looking pretty to us means that they're efficient and means that they're very, very cheap, and quite frankly, means that they're reliable as well. Our power supply is over 94.5% efficient. At the end of the day, we're producing less heat and consuming less energy. And then on the thermal side, I think that's the other key area of efficiency where we used the data center as a cooling device for the servers. So we, we're using a lot less server fan power by utilizing the data center fans because they're larger diameter fans, so they can move a lot more air with a lot less power. We weigh about six pounds less than uh, um, traditional servers out there. That's six pounds of less embodied energy, six pounds less material which is going into our uh, facilities. Uh, and if you multiply that across a relatively large uh, deployment of servers, it makes quite a bit of difference. Uh, it makes even the data center tech's jobs easier because now they're lifting six pounds less every time they have to uh, fix a server. We did all of this work and we didn't just do it for ourselves. I feel like we did it for the community at large. So we're opening up everything um, that, we, um, that we can right now. That includes the server motherboard specification, all the CAD files for the triplet rack that we designed, as well as the server chassis, the power supply specifications, and then all of the data center design work as well. By getting more people to think about how infrastructure works, we can get feedback on the project and improve it even further. The first thing I'd love people to do is give us feedback. Tell us where we screwed up, tell us where we made a bad decision and help us make it better. The second thing I'd love for people to do is take the technology we've created and use it and improve it and adapt it. The third thing I think is actually the most important thing, which is take our philosophy and adopt it in your own business. Sharing software has existed for many, many years, but it hasn't taken a foothold in the in the hardware space or in the data center world yet. We hope we are simply opening the door for other people to come walk through and bring forth their own ideas and own innovations and share them with the rest of the world. Because we fundamentally believe that by virtue of creating a community around these problems, we'll all collectively be better and be more efficient as a result.